Hello everybody and welcome back to our tips and tricks series of Dot 2 video clips. My name is Michael Quincy Strutman. I'm from Tech Support here at MA Lighting International and today we want to talk about the new software version 1.3.1.4 short 1.3 and there we want to talk about the web remote. Let's start very official. Dot 2 provides an operating system that's independent from the web remote interface. To connect the web remote to the Dot2 console, make sure your tablet or computer network interface has the same subnet as your console. This all means you can remote your Dot2 or your Dot2 on PC. For that, you just need an internet browser. And in the release notes, you see what browsers are supported. We recommend Google Chrome, by the way. So, what does it take? You should have a web browser and there you should type in the address that your on PC or your Dot 2 console recommends. Go to Setup, go to Global Settings and say, yes, I want a web remote. The console offers you an IP4 address that you should use and this is the address you type into your browser. So, yes, I want a web remote and open the browser and put in the IP address. The password is by default is remote. We don't have much fantasy here. So the password is remote. Type that in and log in. Any interface that runs a browser can remote your on PC or your dot two console. Let's have a look. We are connected and you can see that by the white W that appears here in your status and message center web remote. Someone is logged in via the web remote. Fine. Let's start a little bit different. How do I get rid of the remote? Simply say, I don't want it anymore. And you see something has changed in the background. Remotes are disabled now and this might take a little while until your message center will recognize this and oops sorry to go back we simply connect again yes I want it and there's our browser this address again so now you know how to connect remote and You've got the main menu in there. In the main menu, you find settings. And in the settings, you can say, choose a display mode, if you use it on a phone or if you use it on a tablet. In the main menu, you also see what screens are possible. So you have a fixture sheet. And we could say, where's my own PC? Let's make this a little bit smaller. And here you also see the difference. We don't push around the complete show file. That's why you see the bitmaps of the Gobos are not displayed. So we try to reduce the data that will be sent from the remote to the console to make the connection more stable. Have a look inside what's possible, what you can do, and what screens you find in here. You've got wheels as well. So if you're on presets and position, and then you can adjust the position to remote. Have fun, guys. Let us know your experiences with it. And uh, yeah, have fun. Stay tuned. That's it for here. Bye.